key is to think about the feelings uh, we want people to have when they encounter the design. A, a new approach was, was necessary. Uh, and the use of data is, is essential to guide the safe use of the car. Uh, and then to allow these experiences to actually happen. So the main idea is to visualize navigation and advanced driver's assistance systems in true augmented reality. And uh, it makes a lot of difference versus the classical conventional heads-up displays and in-vehicle infotainment systems. Because if we align the content in the real world with the true augmented reality, meaning that the distance to virtual objects is the same where where real objects are located, uh, plus the software is rendering the content seamlessly with no delays. Uh, it, it makes more impact on the safety because there is less blind flight time and uh, people are feeling this, um, this navigation as more and, and others as more um, natural way of seeing the information, this supplementary information. So there'll be more use cases once the car is autonomous for the driver and for passengers. The content can be different from just navigation and others. Um, and uh, we can visualize lots of uh, applications, lots of rich points of interest through the windshield and also through the side windows. The side windows thing is can, can be also used uh, today in taxis, in uh, trains. So we are also pioneering here to demonstrate the content through the side windows of the transportation. The car is always connected to all the websites, the tourism websites, through each area that it travels. It's another way to really enjoy the journey as you're moving and enrich your knowledge as you move. Well, if we had, for instance, physical screens everywhere, it would make it hard to have the absolute space flexibility we want. So way raised side screens are ideal for passenger information, where essentially the whole glass area becomes one giant screen. But we have been looking at many different languages a vehicle can use to communicate. Yeah, so the main idea is that holography is the only way to create a true augmented reality content in the transportation. And currently, Weary is the only company who is capable of doing that, having competences in both hardware, deep tech, technology, and software. So we were the first in the industry to integrate all levels of, of technology into one user experience. And this set of technologies enables a huge market uh, that will be uh, used by either ride-hailing companies or OEMs and maybe elsewhere.